Hello and welcome to Demo Reel. As always, I am your host, New Photosan, and we are on the Xbox 360 uh, with what appears to be a Spider-Man uh, video at the start of this disc. Um, at least it looks a lot like Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that that's what we're looking at. Yeah, Spider-Man 3. Um, we might check that out at the end. But first, let's take a look at our playable demos on this disc. Uh, as you can see, there's only four. It's going to be kind of a short, fun disc, I think. First up is Def Jam Icon, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, NBA Street Home Court. Um, in basketball games are kind of hit and miss, but I'm I'm optimistic about this one. And then uh, Paperboy and Root Beer Tapper, both of which should be a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into Def Jam Icon. The next generation of Def Jam features the biggest, baddest rappers in town, battling to the beats of the hottest hip hop music. Expect some smashing surprises. Uh, so let's check that out. Now, those of you who follow the channel know I played. Uh, Def Jam Fight for New York um, did a full Let's Play of that game, uh, and this is the third game in the Def Jam franchise, Fight for New York being the second and Vendetta being the first. Um, am I supposed to press start? Nope, just sit here? Okay. I have played Icon before um, at a friend's house. I remember at the time not really being into it, kind of being thrown off and thinking it was a little bit of a strange way for the, the series to go, but... Um, what I do remember of it, I think my opinion's probably going to be different this time around. Um, because I remember, I thought it was weird that, like, the background was moving to the, the song, or the soundtrack, and I'm pretty sure that that happens regardless of what song you're playing, even if you play in a custom song, which you can do on the 360. Um, we're really not making any progress here, are we? Hold on. Okay, here we go. So, I, I messed with it a bit and even restarted the demo a few times, and it turns out it just has a really long load time. Um, like, this time it was two minutes, and I'm pretty sure it was longer than that before, and that was just apparently just to load the studio logos, because now we're right back to the same screen. Um, we've had really long load times before, but it's always been on, like, the PS1. Um, this seems unacceptable for, like, this era. This is the, the Xbox 360, and it's taken me two and a half minutes to get to this screen. Um, any unauthorized use of this demo is prohibited by applicable law. I think it's fine. Um, I think we're okay here uh, in this case. Um, oh, and there's uh, one song got a credit there. I guess that's probably the only song in the demo itself. Uh, okay. I haven't heard any music yet at all, though, even though we've seen, like, bars dancing like music playing. Here we go. Okay. Press start. Um, throw down or exit demo. Let's throw down. I'm not ready to exit the demo yet. Um, there's a versus option, but we don't have anyone here, so let's go solo. I do like this aesthetic, this like pure white and black aesthetic. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, can I not change? Like, I'm assuming in versus you could be Big Boy or TI, and I'd rather be TI because I haven't heard of Big Boy. But I, I guess, I guess we're stuck like this. I couldn't select the other one uh, for whatever reason. Um, I guess because he was already up in the player 2 slot, I couldn't... It, like, it, it would be possible to maneuver that around if I had um, more than two characters to work with, but as it was... Um, we're getting a lot of screenshots here. I'm guessing so these are like the some of the environmental attacks, or maybe even fatalities. Like, there's a man on fire, and we saw... Um, well, this is like just like a fire extinguisher, so that's probably not a fatality, but... I bet that's an environmental attack, like you throw somebody into a... Uh, a shop, and then the shop owner comes out and hits them with the fire extinguisher. And then somebody else got look, looks like they were getting hit with a street cleaner or something. I don't know. Um, we just, it's just these three images, though, just cycling over and over again. Um, so I'll, um, I'll come back to you guys when we eventually get to the, the game itself. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we're at five minutes total before we actually get to the game here. Um, but from what I... What I remember, it's not too surprising that it took that long, even on this system, just because I do think this game is pretty ambitious graphically for the time period it's made in. Like, what we're seeing right now looks really, really good, but, like, this, is, this isn't this is even, like, what's impressive about this game. And hopefully as the fight goes on here, if I can actually get a little bit of offense in. Because right now, um, it, it, yeah, there we see the background starting to jump, and as, as the fight gets more intense, it's going to get more and more crazy back there, as I recall. Um, so, the fighting itself, though, if we're ignoring the graphics, which, again, I think are really good, um, not, not playing super great right now, 
Um, first of all, it's a little bit awkward the way the camera is positioned because I keep getting in positions where I can't even really see what my opponent's doing. I just see his back. Um, and TI's back is not that interesting that I would rather see that than what he's about to do with his hands, you know? Um, and then also just, it's really clunky, uh, the controls here are. I'm having a really hard time getting him to do what I want. Oh, there's the guy with the fire extinguisher, we saw him back there. Um, so yeah, I could probably, if I knew the controls of this game better, I could probably throw TI into that guy and get him hit with this fire extinguisher. I'm, like, that seems like something that would happen in this game. Um, but as it stands, uh, right now I'm just gonna hope I can actually punch him. It does look like they still have the, like, realistic facial damage, which they had already done that in the second game, so it's not surprising that this game on a more advanced system would also have it. But, um, it, it's something that I always appreciated about the, the Def Jam games, or at least the second one. I didn't play Vendetta much, and I don't remember if that was part of that game at all. Um, but it's, it's just nice to see that your punches are doing something besides like a health bar. Especially since this game does not have a health bar. The closest it has is like this, um, the background getting all jacked up like you see. Oh crap! Um, oh good, he got hit on fire too. I think I took the brunt of it though, I was right next to that explosion. Um, but yeah, I, I keep getting distracted by the background, honestly, I keep looking back at it because it's more, it's more interesting than the two guys punching each other, you know? Um, even if they are both celebrities, and I assume Big Boy is a celebrity, I I don't, again, I haven't heard of him, I, even though I, I know T.I. at least, I know I know him. Uh, I don't, by, like, the, the rappers that were popular around the time this game came out, I, I was already, uh, I don't know the rap of this, this era quite as well as I do, like, the older, like, 90s or early 2000s type raps, um, which is more like what we saw in uh, Fight for New York. Um, Especially some of the like veteran rappers that were in there, like Snoop Dogg and, and Ice T and stuff. And I have no idea if those guys are in here too. Any of them? I I hope so. Um. Oh wait, what's happening? I just walked off and then it went to white. Did one of us win? Or did was the fight like on a timer? I don't know. I remember the background getting a lot more like crazy than that. So I'm learning each song's beat to win the fight. Yeah, and that's something that I don't know how to do because I haven't played this. I uh, live the life of a music mogul. I'm I'm betting we just ran out of time because I don't think anyone actually won that fight. If we did, they made it a lot easier and less impressive to win. But um, yeah, that that's it. I I think it's interesting visually. Um, and and again, I I have memories of the the background getting even more crazy than what we saw. Um, even losing its color and going into kind of like this white aesthetic like we see on the menu here. But we didn't get to see that in the demo because it just kind of faded to white. Um, but anyway, I find the game interesting, and if I ever get like really in like wanting to do another Def Jam game, I might let's play it, but prob probably not, I'm going to say at this point. But it's something I've considered at least, and this demo didn't do anything to sell me on that idea, but uh, anyway, let's move on to our next game now. Up next we have NBA Street. Uh, it's time to showcase your craziest moves next-gen style in EA's Yay, big, slick looking, smooth playing NBA Street Home Court. Stumbled up there for a second, thought it was saying EA's big game or something like that, but no, EA big. I, fi I forget that they have that for a lot of their. Um, I don't, I actually don't know what the purpose of the, the big brand is for EA. I guess, I think it's attached more to their, um, unlicensed, uh, sports ones. Like, this is still NBA, but it's not like, uh,. It's not the NBA game of the year, it's not like NBA 2000s, whatever, or something. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just speculating, because I don't play these sporting games, these are all... Every time we get one of these, it's something I've never played before, unless we've played the demo before. So it's always, um, it's always a bit of a guessing game for me. Every legend has a beginning. Mellow. Rip. CP3. Well, it sounded like there was going to be some narration at the start, but uh, I couldn't really understand what he said. Um, 
Anyway, I was saying I like the street in the title because that's generally a good indicator to me with sports games that they're not going to be trying too hard to be like a realistic, down to earth, um, like sporting game. Usually the street games have a little bit more personality and fun to them. Um, so let's just pick up a game here. Uh, looks like we've got the Denver Nuggets of the Detroit Pistons as our options. I don't mind being a Nugget. Uh, Owen Hart was a Nugget. I can be a Nugget. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, Allen Iverson. Okay. Um, whatever. This is all fine to me. Whatever they've got. I'll just pick up the first three here. Because I don't know these players. I don't know if there's any reason why I would want one or the other. Um, you have two trick buttons. Use the X and Y buttons to discover all the moves in Trick Remixer. Uh, I can remix my tricks? That's interesting. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm guessing... Yeah, I... Okay, it just says Tricks Remix for those buttons on here. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We play our ball okay. Oceanside, between the breakwater, the weight benches, and the California palm trees. The sea breeze is more of a jump shooter's challenge than the big guys in the paint. And most fast breaks end in film-worthy acrobatics here in the land of movie stars. Home to West Coast street balls, cream of the crop. Yeah, we're Venice Beach, and we ball the best out here in the West. Okay. Hopefully you guys can um, hear him. I'll try to get the volume working. Um, I, I might have mine down too low or something. But, um... Oh, hey, come on. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do a trick or something? Oh! Okay, well we were doing like a big old dunk thing. Okay. There's some kind of coordination thing I'm messing up here, it looks like. Um, okay. I don't even know who has the ball right now. I don't think we do. Okay. Okay, Skin's got it. Uh, oh man. They shot it like right away. That's unfortunate for us. Okay, so that's how I shoot. Um, don't want to do it from there though, because the game, the AI is smart enough to stop it. Well, I am not. I don't know. I have no idea what to do there. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are off to an awful start here. But, okay, wait. Wait, d what did I do wrong? Whoa, what is... I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> um, so there's like a system for shooting the ball that I haven't figured out yet. But I managed to get one in. Um, so we got one point. It's one, one to three now. I guess their long shot was a two-pointer. Like, instead of the normal, every shot is two points. Um, okay. So, let's try... Okay. Short range. Alright, I'm I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go here. Like, it showed us controls, but I'm terrible, terrible at learning controls by reading them. I can't ever do it. Um, well, shoot. I tried to keep a hold of it there, but man, they are kicking our ass. Like, way more than we usually have to worry about. Okay, you can turn off the button prompts and... Okay, we lost. Wow, okay, so it was just like first to five, I guess? That was really fast, but okay. Um, it seems fun. I I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, let's let's quit. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of teams there. Up next, we have Paperboy. The Coin Op Classic hits Xbox Live Arcade. Pedal and toss your way to happy subscribers and bring home the big bucks. And we've played Paperboy before on Demo Reel back in um, I think it was in episode 47, somewhere around there. Uh, we played a disc that had Paperboy and Smash TV on it for the PS2. And now we get to play it here on the, the 360. Though usually they put these arcade games separate from the rest of them. Uh, it's a little odd to see this in here with all the others. We can unlock the full game down here. But let's just go ahead. Um, yeah, we don't want to do Xbox Live. I don't have any friends who would be online playing this. Uh, you can upload high score only if you have unlocked the full game. That's okay. We don't, we don't need to do that. One player start. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, and we can't do the, um, the harder difficulties on, uh, the trial here, but we can do Easy Street, which is fine. This will be more than I can handle if, uh, playing it on the PS2 is any indication. I'm not good at Paperboy. Um, I think I could be if I played it frequently, but really I've only played it once or twice. Uh, and it's mostly been on demo reels. So let's see. Okay, so there we go. I've got, um, kind of got it down here. At least, okay. 
Yeah, I'm getting getting the hang of the things here. Um, oh, I somehow got oh well, somehow got off of the the sidewalk there. Okay, there we go. That's not perfect, but whatever. Um, okay, and then I don't want to deliver to the gray houses. Is that right? Yeah, because like this one says get lost, so we'll just ignore that. Oh, there's some papers I missed. Oh well. Um, there we go. Hey, we're actually doing okay here. I think. I don't remember what difficulty we played on um, on the PS2, but I feel like this is easier. Um, I rem this is easier than what I remember, but I'm also going a lot slower here. And I that's probably part of the problem. There, there we go. Oh, no. um, I just realized I threw to a house I didn't mean to, and I hit that car. Um, okay, and then I don't remember these guys, but let's just go across here real quick, fast. Uh, oh, almost hit another car there. So, um, yeah, this is Paperboy. It's a classic game, uh, if you I haven't heard that. of it. It's pretty fun, actually. Like, I'm I'm bad at it, and I'm, like, playing really, really cautiously here because I'm aware of how bad I am. Um, I missed that one completely. Um, oh well. But, uh, it, I still, I think it's a, a cool game. Like, it's a cool concept for a game that you don't really see. Um, so I think... You can get like extra points for things like if I had stopped that burglar that we saw right there, somebody was breaking into one of my clients' houses and I did nothing. Um, I think, uh, oh hey, hey, yeah, I think this is like a bonus area. I, I don't, I don't remember this area very well. It's, I think it usually goes about like that. Um, anyway, that's, uh, I think that's it. That's all we get to do. Yeah, okay, so let's move on. We've got one more game like this, um, that we can try out here. And that's Root Beer Tapper, another arcade great. Put your tapping skills to the test as thirsty customers queue up for a mug full of foamy root beer. All right. And I I know this game, but I've never actually played it before. Unlike Paperboy, which I had at least uh, played before on like old consoles at conventions and stuff, or I had played it on demo reel even. But Root Beer Tapper never. Um, I mostly know it for. Um, uh, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the the bar in Wreck-It Ralph was based on this game. But let's go ahead and go to the arcade game. We'll do it just like... This is all set up exactly the same as Paperboy was. Um, clear all customers to advance. Okay. Get ready to serve. Alright, so, um... How does this work? Like that? Okay. Alright, so we're just kind of... I'm just kind of trial and erroring here because I've never... Never played this before, so I don't know... Oh, okay, I can go from one end to the other really quickly there. That's good to know. Okay. So, so far, this is pretty easy. But we're obviously playing at a much easier difficulty. Oops, so that guy won too many. Um, oh, did I... Do you fail if you send out a root beer to nobody? <laughs> I just accidentally tapped the A button twice. Um, I guess that's all it takes to get like a, a game over because as soon as it broke that was when I lost or we ended here um okay this guy drinks some fast okay Whoop. messed up <laughs> totally did not mean to do it that way uh but okay send it time to serve again I don't I don't know if there's a, a strategy to this, um, or if you just keep reacting the way I am. I think that's all you need to do. Um, okay, there's another one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so th this is fun. It's cute. Um, oh, we actually cleared all the customers that time. Okay. Um, yeah, alright. I don't know. I It's hard to have too much to say on this because, you know, it's just, uh, it's an arcade classic, I guess, um, according to the, um, the text we got. Oh. No, no, ah, I meant to go up and sit it down and I totally messed up. Game over, that was my last life, I guess. Ooh, I can enter my initials, though, even though it won't get shared because I don't have the full game unlocked, so it won't go onto, like, any leaderboards or everything, but, um, it's just... There, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the the main disc here and 
yeah, that's it. And that's uh, that's it for us. That's all the playable demos we had, just those four. Um, there's nothing else here under, like, extra content or anything. No hidden demos I'm aware of. This is a real quick, fun, and easy disc. I hope you guys had fun. Um, I, I had a lot of fun. Like, I wasn't good at really any of these games. Um, like, and that's not too unusual for me, but all four of them, I thought, were kind of fun. Um, and would definitely be ones I could learn to play. Like, Def Jam, if we get used to the, the idea of fighting to the beat, I think would be a lot easier. The NBA Street game, I never really figured out a lot of what we were supposed to do, but it was fun. And Paperboy and Rootbeer Tapper are classics for a reason. Um, so we kind of knew going in that those would be at least a little bit fun. Um, even though we didn't get to play a whole lot of them, because they're rather small games to begin with, and then we're just being like a small part of that game. Um, small games by today's standards, I mean. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, come on back next week. We will watch... Um, watch we'll play more games i don't know what I'm, I'm thinking about which video i want to show you guys here um probably well we're watching the spider-man 3 one over in the corner right now so let's go ahead and load up we'll load up hellboy here but if you like this video come back next week we'll play uh more demos i don't know what the disc will be yet but whatever it is i'm sure we'll have a lot of fun uh playing it together so i'll see you guys then bye